Hordanine N, is an alkaloid of the phenethylamine class that occurs naturally in a variety of plants, taking its name from one of the most common, barley, hordium species. Chemically, hordanine is the N-methyl derivative of N-methyltyramine, and the N-N-dimethyl derivative of the well-known biogenic amine tyramine, from which it is biosynthetically derived and with which it shares some pharmacological properties see below. Currently, hordanine is widely sold as an ingredient of nutritional supplements, with the claims that it is a stimulant of the central nervous system, and has the ability to promote weight loss by enhancing metabolism. In experimental animals, given sufficiently large doses parenterally i.e. by injection, hordanine does produce an increase in blood pressure, as well as other disturbances of the cardiovascular, respiratory, and nervous systems. These effects are generally not reproduced by oral administration of the drug in test animals, and virtually no scientific reports of the effects of hordanine in human beings have been published. Occurrence the first report of the isolation from a natural source of the compound which is now known as hordanine was made by Arthur Hefter in 1894, who extracted this alkaloid from the cactus Anhelonium fissuratus now reclassified as Ariacarpus fissuratus, naming it Anhalen. Twelve years later, E. Leger independently isolated an alkaloid which he named hordanine from germinated barley, hordium bulgar, seeds. Ernst Spath subsequently showed that these alkaloids were identical and proposed the correct molecular structure for this substance, for which the name hordanine was ultimately retained. Hordanine is present in a fairly wide range of plants, notably amongst the cacti, but has also been detected in some algae and fungi. It occurs in grasses, and is found at significantly high concentrations in the seedlings of cereals such as barley, hordium bulgar about 0.2%, or 2,000 micrograms per gram, prosa millet, panicum miliaceum, about 0.2%, and sorghum, sorghum bulgar, about 0.1%. Reddy, in his 1953 review of naturally occurring phenethylamines, notes that the richest source of hordanine is the cactus Trichocereus candicans, now reclassified as Echinopsis candicans, which was found to contain 0.5 to 5.0% of the alkaloid, since barley, via its conversion to malt, is used extensively in the production of beer. Beer and malt have been examined by several groups of investigators for the presence of hordanine. Citing a 1965 study by McFarlane, Kucherowin reported that beer contained approximately 12 to 24 mg per liter, wort contained about 11 to 13 mg, L, and malt contained about 67 micrograms per gram of hordanine. The hordanine content of various malts and malt fractions was extensively studied by Kucherowin himself, who also provided a good coverage of related literature up to 1983. This researcher found a mean concentration of hordanine in raw barley around 0.7 micrograms per gram, in green malts i.e. barley that had been soaked in water for two days then germinated for four days, the mean concentration was about 21 micrograms per gram, and in kilned malts i.e. green malts that had been heated in a kiln for one to two days, the mean concentration was about 28 micrograms per gram. When only green malt roots were examined, their mean content of hordanine was roughly 3,363 micrograms per gram, whereas the mean level in kilned malt roots was around 4,066 micrograms per gram. In barley, hordanine levels reach a maximum within 5 to 11 days of germination, then slowly decrease until only traces remain after one month. Furthermore, hordanine is localized primarily in the roots. In comparing literature values for hordanine concentrations in barley or barley malt therefore consideration should be made of the age and parts of the plant being analyzed the figure of about 2000 micrograms per gram cited in the review by smith for example is consistent with kucherowin's figures for the hordanine levels in the roots of malted barley but not in pulled malt where his figures of 21 to 28 micrograms per gram are more consistent with mcfarlane S figure of about 67 micrograms per gram. However, a wide range of variability is seen. A study by Lovett and co workers of 43 different barley lines found concentrations of hordanine in roots ranging from 1 to 2,625 micrograms per gram fresh weight. These workers concluded that hordanine production was not under significant genetic control, but much more susceptible to environmental factors such as light duration. Biosynthesis 
Hordenine is biosynthesized by the stepwise N-methylation of tyramine, which is first converted to N-methyltyramine, and which, in turn is methylated to hordenine. The first step in this sequence is accomplished by the enzyme tyramine N-methyltransferase, tyramine methylferase, but if the same enzyme is responsible for the second methylation that actually produces hordenine is uncertain. Chemistry Basicity since the hordenine molecule contains both a basic amine and acidic phenol functional group, it is ampoteric. The apparent see original article for discussion pKa's for protonated hordenine are 9.78, phenolic H, and 10.02, ammonium H. Common salts are hordenine hydrochloride, RnH3 plus Cl M, P, 178 degrees Celsius, and hordenine sulfate, RnH3 plus, 2SO42 M, P, 211 degrees Celsius. The methyl hordenine HCl which is listed as an ingredient on the labels of some nutritional supplements is in all likelihood simply hordenine hydrochloride, since the description of methyl hordenine HCl given by virtually all bulk suppliers of this substance corresponds to that for hordenine hydrochloride, or possibly just hordenine. Five regioisomeric compounds would correspond to the name methyl hordenine HCl. If it were interpreted according to the rules of chemical nomenclature, alpha methyl hordenine, beta methyl hordenine, 2 methyl hordenine, 3 methyl hordenine, and 4 O methyl hordenine, each in the form of its HCl salt, and methyl hordenine is better known as the natural product candesin, but is excluded from the possibilities because it is a quaternary ammonium salt that cannot be protonated, hence cannot form a hydrochloride salt. Synthesis the first synthesis of hordenine is due to barger. 2 phenylethyl alcohol was first converted to 2 phenylethyl chloride using phosphorus pentachloride. This chloride was reacted with dimethylamine to form N, N dimethyl phenylethylamine, which was then nitrated using HNO3. The N, N dimethyl 4 nitro phenethylamine was reduced to N, N dimethyl 4 amino phenethylamine with SN, HCl. This amine was finally converted to hordenine by diazotization hydrolysis using sodium nitrite H. H2SO4, H2O, a more efficient synthetic route was described by Chong and co-workers, who also provided references to earlier syntheses. This synthesis began with P-methoxyphenylethyl alcohol, which was simultaneously O-demethylated and converted to the iodide by heating with high. The resulting P-hydroxyphenylethyl iodide was then heated with dimethylamine to give hordenine. Radio-labeled hordenine has been prepared by the hydrogenation of a mixture of 2,14C, tyramine and 40% formaldehyde in the presence of 10% PD on charcoal catalyst. The labeled C in the hordenine is thus the C which is beta to the N hordenine labeled with 14 C at the position alpha to the N has also been prepared, as has hordenine with a 14 C label in both N methyl groups. Pharmacology The first pharmacological study of hordenine to be recorded is that of Hefter, who was also the first to isolate it. Using the sulfate salt, C. Chemistry. Hefter gave a subcutaneous dose of 0.3 g to a 2.8 kg cat about 107 mg per kilogram, and observed no effects besides violent vomiting. The cat behaved normally within 45 minutes. He also took a dose of 100 mg orally himself, without experiencing any observable effect. However, the alkaloid was observed to produce a paralysis of the nervous system in frogs, working with Leger's C. Occurrence. Hordenine sulfate, Camus determined minimum lethal doses for the dog, rabbit, guinea pig, and rat. C. Toxicology. The associated symptoms of toxicity following parenteral doses were, excitation, vomiting, respiratory difficulties, convulsions, and paralysis, with death occurring as a result of respiratory arrest. 
In a subsequent paper, Camus reported that the intravenous IV administration of some hundreds of mg of hordenine sulfate to dogs or rabbits caused an increase in blood pressure and changes in the rhythm and force of contraction of the heart, noting also that the drug was not orally active. The cardiovascular and other effects of hordenine were reviewed in detail by Reichel, writing in 1937. More modern studies were carried out by Frank and co workers, who reported that IV administration of 2 mg per kilogram of hordenine to horse produced substantial respiratory distress, increased the rate of respiration by 250%, doubled the heart rate, and caused sweating without changes in basal body temperature or behavior. All effects disappeared within 30 minutes. The same dose of hordenine given orally did not produce any of the effects seen after parenteral administration. In a 1995 study, Haitke and Strathman reported that in dogs and rats, hordenine produced a positive enotropic effect on the heart, i.e., increased the strength of contraction, increased systolic and diastolic blood pressure, and increased the volume of peripheral blood flow. Movements of the gut were inhibited. Additional experiments on isolated tissue lead these investigators to conclude that hordenine was an indirectly acting adrenergic agent that produced its pharmacological effects by releasing stored norepinephrine. Nay, hordenine was found to be a selective substrate for MAU-B, from rat liver, with KM. 479 UM and Vmax. 128 Nm per milligram protein, H. It was not deaminated by Mao A from rat intestinal epithelium. In contrast to tyramine, hordenine did not produce contraction of isolated rat vas deferens, but a 25 mu m concentration of the drug did potentiate its response to submaximal doses of NE, and inhibited its response to tyramine. However, the response to NE of isolated vas deferens taken from rats chronically treated with guanathidine was not affected by hordenine. The investigators concluded that hordenine acted as an inhibitor of NE reuptake in rat vas deferens. Hordenine has been found to be a potent stimulant of gastrin release in the rat, being essentially equipotent with N-methyltyramine, 83 Nm per kilogram of hordenine, corresponding to about 14 mg per kilogram of the free base, enhancing gastrin release by roughly 60%. In a study of the effects of a large number of compounds on a rat trace amine receptor, RTAR1, expressed in HEK 290 cells, hordenine, at a concentration of 1 mm, had almost identical potency to that of the same concentration of beta-phenethylamine in stimulating CAMP production through the RTAR1. The potency of tyramine in this receptor preparation was slightly higher than that of hordenine. Toxicology LD50 in mice, by intraperitoneal IP, administration, 299 mg per kilogram. Other LD50 values given in the literature are, greater than 100 mg per kilogram, mouse, IP, as HCl salt, 113. 5 mg per kilogram, mouse, root of administration unspecified, minimum lethal dose, as sulfate salt, 300 mg per kilogram, dog, IV, 2000 mg per kilogram, dog, oral, 250 mg per kilogram, rabbit, IV, 300 mg per kilogram, guinea pig, IV, 2000 mg per kilogram, guinea pig, subcutaneous, about 1000 mg per kilogram, rat, subcutaneous, from experiments aimed at identifying the toxin responsible for producing the locomotor disorder, staggers, and rapidly lethal cardiac toxicosis, sudden death, periodically observed in livestock feeding on the grass Phalaris aquatica, Australian researchers determined that the lowest doses of hordenine that would induce symptoms of staggers in sheep were 20 mg per kilogram IV, and 800 mg per kilogram orally. However, the cardiac symptoms of sudden death could not be evinced by hordenine, although hordenine is capable of reacting with nitrosating agents e.g. nitrite ion, NO2- to form the carcinogen and nitrosodimethylamine NDMA, and was investigated as a possible precursor for the significant amounts of NDMA once found in beer, it was eventually established that the levels of hordenine present in malt were too low to account for the observed levels of NDMA. Pharmacokinetics. The pharmacokinetics of hordenine have been studied in horses. After IV administration of the drug, the alpha phase T1 half was found to be about 3 minutes, and the beta phase T1 half was about 35 minutes. 
Insect interactions Hortonine has been found to act as a feeding deterrent to grasshoppers Melanoplus bibitatus, and to caterpillars of Heliothus virescens and Heliothus subflexa. The estimated concentration of hortonine that reduced feeding duration to 50% of control was 0.4 m for H. virescens and 0.08 m for H. subflexa. Plant interactions Hortonine has some plant growth inhibiting properties. Lou and Lovett reported that, at a concentration of 50 ppm, it reduced the radical length in seedlings of white mustard Sinopes alba, by around 7%. Admixture with an equal amount of gramine markedly enhanced this inhibitory effect, in a synergistic manner. See also Tyramine N methyltyramine Candison N N dimethyl dopamine 4 hydroxyamphetamine Folidrine O desmethyl venlafaxine References <references>